So once again, into this combat of AMI, AMAI Warriors of the Borders land. So yeah. Like I said, this has a season two, and it's here now. And I like it. The slow improvements, the slow building of this tension, I love. This slowly interesting knowledge, and how it seems like the tables have flipped, but a oh, moment on a second, is really interesting. And a lot of moments, again, later there's a lot that i'm going to talk about hence this section here it might be a bit smaller that i want to talk about so so badly uh but yeah i'm just going to cut this short because there's the more moments i want to talk about are spoilers so so yeah this bit's going to be a bit longer so one spoilers done <laughs> one obviously during the last season and obviously if you watch season one, you're going to watch season two, you're probably going to watch season one. He sort of dies, and then, spoilers, he's not dead. I like it. It's interesting, because it's like, all of these people are like, oh, he's dead. And it's not that fad of like, oh, twist, he's not dead. Da -da -da. But I just like that idea that it changes the dynamic. What he went through, you slowly learn. Because during season one, you have... Him, and you have the partner, which is more dark and edgy, and we don't know why. Not dark and edgy, I like. It's like, all I feel is pain. But, like, you can get, like, he's a little bit more jaded to the world. And then you get that for him. Because him, we know throughout season one, we know why he does certain things. We know, we know what he's like. But... One thing I like is that slowly but surely he's being revealed that he went through like this traumatic experience and I absolutely uh, love it and find it really interesting. And the other thing I like is slowly because you get like these armies that have been against this person and slowly but surely they're realizing we're just going to do a peace treaty and the last part of it is America will be like no we can't have that. And then doing that. And I even love the one fact that slowly at the end, because we see all this guy who's nice do these horrible things, and then you realize why he's doing these things to reveal the secrets of his father. And like that idea of like he's doing it because he has to keep up the charade that he's actually on his side, I love. I also like the idea that they slowly feel like, is he? What? Why is he acting like this? And I find it fun, interesting, and overall just amazing. So yeah, I think this is really good. And it seems like it's going to do one, two seasons and done. That's why all of these on this sort of thing is connected into one. Probably why the 16th episode they have been merged into one 25 list episode rather than season one and season two. Which I think on Google they say season one and season two. Uh, but yeah, this is really good and really nice. So I hope you enjoyed and good night.